silly in the name of... Hello again and welcome to Season 5, Episode 1 of Chili in the Name of. This week I'm going to heat things up a bit with four extra hot sauces including the Spicy Sharks Megalodon Carolina Reaper, Burns and McCoy Excitium, Burns and McCoy Exoresco, and Fiery Fool. Now I'm fully expecting these to be quite hot, so without any further ado, let's get on it. The first sauce I'm going to try for you today is Megalodon Carolina Reaper by the Spicy Shark. Uh, Spicy Shark have got a whole bunch of really uh, good looking sauces. This is the first one I've tried and this was sent to me uh, by my mate Nick Barnes. Thanks again for that Nick. It says on the bottle that it's wicked hot. So it gets five shark fins out of five for heat. So let's try it out. It's quite a thin looking sauce, uh, sort of brown in color. Um, the consistency is very, it's very sort of watery looking but uh, it also has quite, it's not see-through by any means. Um, Let's try it. Let's open it up. It smells quite cidery. Cider vinegar, I think. Apple-y. There's some fruit in there too. Mmm. Wow, that's really spicy. Really, like really uh, lots of spices in there. Um, it's pretty warm up front. It's got very much fruit in there. It's like I'm tasting apples. Let's see, it's got apple cider, uh, cherry juice, uh, red wine vinegar, pineapples, um, and then way down, in the, about halfway down the list is the Carolina Reapers. It's got molasses in there as well, a bit of vinegar, and it's this, yeah, it's it's got really fruity, but it's got, it's a really delicious flavor. It's um, mm, it's sour, it's sweet, it's a little bit smoky. Um, but it's mostly, it's sort of that, that cidery sort of apple flavor that's really sitting forward. In terms of heat, I'd probably give this an eight out of 10. I'd probably have it with um, with seafood. Um, it does say on the back, meat, seafood, and any dish in need of flavor and heat. It's definitely got heaps of flavor and it's got a good whack of heat, but it does, it wanes quite quickly. So like, I'm, I'm already, it's already sort of leaving me. Um, but I think in terms of uh, what you what you want to put that on, I reckon, yes, yeah, some seafood, some, a rice dish or something would be fantastic. The second sauce I'm going to try today is Excitium by Burns and McCoy. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have had this sent across to me by my mate uh, Brian McNeil over there in Texas. Um, thanks a lot for this. Uh, it look, it look, I've been looking at these Burns and McCoys uh, for quite some time and, and I just feel really happy that I've actually got, finally got my hands on a couple of them. Uh, this one is a really intriguing one, a pineapple ginger hot sauce. So let's try it out. As you can see, it's a beautiful yellow color. Uh, it's got a bit of pulp in there, um, as you can see. Yeah, it's the thickness, it's quite thick too. It sort of it looks a bit quite chunky as well. In terms of smell, that's got pineapple up front. You can smell the ginger and you can smell the the chilies in there as well. Take a bit of effort to get that out of the bottle, but there we go. Oh wow, that's amazing. So much fruit in there. It's, it's right up the front there with the pineapple. Again, love pineapple. This might actually be the most pineapple-y pineapple hot sauce I've had. Um, in terms of ingredients, it says it's got pineapple right up the front there and then Moriga scorpions after that and then pineapple juice. So it's, it's doubled down on the pineapple. Mate, this would be so good with a pineapple pizza. And I've said it once and I'll say it again. Pineapple pizzas, pineapple chili sauce, so good. Um, in terms of heat, that's actually creeping up on me. Um, it's pretty warm. Probably give it a 9 out of 10 for heat. In terms of what you'd eat it with, go straight for the pizza. This is fantastic on pizza, I can tell you right now without even having it on pizza. Mmm, love it. The third sauce I'm going to try today is Exoresco by Burns and McCoy. It's a seven pot primo hot sauce. It's got a Medusa there on the front, uh, looking kind of scary. Um, and I've just got to say that together they look amazing, don't they? The, the, this, this series, I think there's a couple more in, the, in this series of, of uh, sauces as well. Um, let's try this out, I guess. 
All right, so you can see it's quite ready brown, uh, bright red there. I'm thinking that's probably the red, uh, the seven pots uh, primos in there. Um, it's a thinner consistency than than the last one, I think. Um, you can see chunks of chili and stuff in there. Um, let's open it. it. Smells very vinegar forward. There's a lot of uh, chili in there as well, obviously. It smells a bit like. It's like tomato ketchup. Mmm. Yeah, that's quite sweet forward and then driven by the vinegar afterwards. Um, what's it got in it? Seven pot primo peppers right up the front there. And then uh, apple cider vinegar, agave nectar, yuzu juice, black garlic, salt and spices. Yeah, no, that's really warm. Um, it's uh, probably uh, one of the hottest ones I've had. I'll probably put this around about a 12 out of 10 for heat. The flavor is quite sweet, quite fruity. Um, and at the same time, it's quite, it's really driven by the peppers. The peppers have, burnt my, have lit up my whole mouth. Um, wow. So yeah, what would you have this with? Well, I don't know anything. It's it's pretty bloody hot. That does not lie there where it says hot at the very top of, the, of that thermometer. And thanks again to Nick Barnes for sending me this this across from the USA. Um, much appreciated. Had a really good. Uh, that's a really really warm sauce. Thank you. The fourth sauce I'm going to try for you today is Fiery Fool. Uh, this is a notorious sauce for being uh, the hottest one of the hottest sauces out there. I purchased this one myself from Matt's Hot Shop. Uh, it says on the front here, the hottest sauce in the world without extract. Um, and in it, it says it has Primo Seven Pots, Carolina Reapers, Trinidad Scorpions, and Butcher Lockyer. Um, the other ingredients in there include vinegar, uh, pepper mash, and bits, bits and pieces of that. It looks like it's just mostly chili, so let's try it out. Now, admit, admittedly, I'm going to be a bit cautious with this one um, because it does it is notoriously hot. So I'm going to see how much. I'm not going to do a huge a lot, a lot on my spoon this time around. It looks quite thick, so it might be hard to get out of the bottle. It really does not want to come out of that bottle. I think that's going to have to do. right off the bat um, it's really delicious I'm actually surprised at how delicious this is um, even though it's mostly peppers uh, it seems to have a beautiful saltiness to it uh, and a richness that I did not expect from a super hot sauce um, it's not as hot as I thought it would be but it's still one of the hottest things I've had probably get it give it a, a 12 so the same as uh, writing as the XRSCO. It's it may be because I've had hot sauces up to this point that it's not affecting me like it would. I reckon straight off the bat, if you were having this one with you know with cold, cold without any any sort of build up, uh, this could be really difficult for you. It is continuing to build in heat. Um, I think it's 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 an all over mouth heat. I think it's it's the tongue, it's the lips, it's the roof of the mouth, um, the back of the throat for the reapers from from the reapers. Um, it's giving me a bit of sweat on the lip, not too much. Um, the fact that I couldn't get a heap of it out of the bottle means that I didn't have as much as I did with the other ones. But that aside, I still had a, you know a fair, a fairly enough to get a really good taste of this. It's actually really delicious, and I think it would be um, probably up there with one of my favourite sauces. So there you have it, folks. Four extra extra special sauces from uh, various uh, producers. Um, I think if I had to pick one as my favorite, uh, it would probably have to be, you guessed it, it'd be Exidium, just because it's a beautiful pineapple uh, hot sauce, and it is really hot. It's really, really, like, it, it ticks all the boxes for me. Um, in terms of most surprising, it would have to be the Fiery Fool. Not as hot as I thought. Uh, mind you, it is still building. It's been about two minutes. Um, but 
I'm, I'm just really surprised at how, how tasty this actually is. Um, and I would highly recommend this one too. All four of the sauces are great. Um, and I'm really happy that I finally got to taste some spicy shark and some Burns and McCoy. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great way to start off the season. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, but until next time, see you later. Silly in the name of...